All right, this video is a backwards drawing. Well, that's what I call it anyway. You go from a proportional figure drawing and you put in the guidelines and it gets you used to like where these guidelines line up to one another and basically just how to draw the figure in general. So the first thing you start with when drawing the figure is an oval for the head. Then you're gonna do the center line and shoulder line. Keep in mind that unless the person's standing up perfectly straight, these will curve or slant, things like that. You're gonna do the hip joint and the shoulder joints. Make sure your shoulder joint goes from the top of the shoulder muscle down to the armpit. Then you're gonna draw in the light bulb or like chicken leg shape for the torso. We're gonna do straight lines from hip to knee and knee to ankle. In order to get the placement of your heel, um, you're gonna measure from the very top of the head to the widest point in the hip and whatever that measurement is, it's gonna be equal as the widest point of the hip to the heel. Um, so if you're drawing this figure out on paper and you have like, here's my figure with their torso, I'm gonna to measure from the head to the widest point of the hip. Let's say that's two inches, then I'm gonna go two inches down and that will give me my measurement for my heel. So that's where the person's heel will line up for the foot. Okay, um, so moving on. With the legs, I was doing a straight line from the hip to the kneecap or the knee joint. Here's the ankle. I'm gonna do the muscles. Make sure you overlap the knee and overlap the hip. A uh, big problem I see when students are drawing uh, thighs and hips, they draw in the thigh and the thighs end up skinnier than the hips and they end up with like this weird poochy shape on the side. So make sure when you're drawing in your thighs that they do line up to the outside edge of the hip. When you're doing your calf, it should also overlap the ankle and the knee joint. Okay, so now we have something looking like legs for the feet. Let's just literally outline the feet. I think most people when they're drawing feet and hands do them way too small, but your foot should be about the equivalent from your knee to your ankle. So that should be the size of this guy's foot. To be totally honest with you, I think that this artist maybe made the feet a little small, or also maybe what's happening is the knees are kind of going further back, making the feet appear a little bit smaller. Does that make sense? So that might be why if his feet are kind of tipping backwards. These are terrible feet, don't look at those feet. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. So what we're gonna do next is draw the arms. I'm gonna do a straight line from the, the shoulder to the elbow joint. The elbow joint is at the widest part of his arm. The wrist is at like the narrowest part of the arm, especially because it's sideways right now. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the bicep and the forearm. The bicep should overlap the shoulder and overlap the elbow joint. For the forearm, this one is much different than all the rest. The forearm is gonna start from the wrist you're gonna go up and around the elbow joint and then back down. So I'm not just overlapping the elbow joint, I'm going completely around the elbow joint, okay? I'm gonna draw in an oval for the bicep there, overlapping everything. I'm gonna draw in these hands. Ooh, that's a creepy looking hand, sorry, okay. Um, <clears throat> when you're drawing thumbs and like fingers and hands, so basically for the thumb, I just do that thumb bump and the tip of the thumb, and then I do like the back of the hand and then like the fingers of the hand. It's just a basic way to draw the hand. For the uh, neck, you're just gonna do two lines that slightly curve outward. Remember, you don't wanna give them like a noodle neck. You don't want their neck to look like it's made of rubber, okay? You want it to look very strong, so do lines that curve outward. All right. Um, now, for drawing the faces on these heroes and villains, what you're going to do is you're really going to simplify from that face drawing we did prior. You're going to draw a line above the eye and then just like a basic shape for the eye, like a circle. And then for the nose, like you see on this guy here, you're just basically going to see a shadow underneath the nose, a shadow under the top lip, and a shadow under the bottom lip. That's really kind of all you need to draw for the face. You could obviously draw on your hairline. And in this guy, we see a prominent jawline because he is looking upward. And we have some like hair flying over here. If you want to practice just tracing their faces in here, I think that'll help give you a way to draw your faces in here out as well. Um, honestly, this guy's cape is pretty cool if you want to go ahead and trace that one. Okay, uh, moving down from here, I'm going to draw this figure where his torso sort of turned sideways. Uh, it does complicate things a little bit when you turn the face and when you turn the torso. I think that his... You know what? Actually, no, I changed my mind. I'm going to draw this flying guy up here because this is a really cool pose, also a little bit complicated. Um, so what's happening here is his shoulders are kind of still facing us, but his body is going like down and back over here. Um, his hips still look fairly wide. On this guy over here, let's see this one here, his hips are going to look much narrower because we're seeing them more at a side view. This shoulder is going to look larger because it's closer. With this guy here, kind of the same deal. Maybe a, like you won't even see the other shoulder joint center line hips, 
draw in your torso, and then you can start drawing in your straight lines. By the way, if they don't have a foot in there, go ahead and just like try to draw in a foot. Make, make sure and don't make it too small, okay? Um, but basically, you're just going to go around here. You're going to trace all of these figures, being sure to do their center line, shoulder line, oval for the head, oval for the hips. Draw in the shoulder joints, draw in the light bulb shape for their torso, um, and then start with the straight lines for the limbs. You're kind of drawing their limbs like a stick figure, you know, just straight lines. And then you're going in and drawing those muscles. So after you draw in your joints in that, it's kind of easy because you're kind of just using the outlines that the artist has already drawn on there for you. Yours is this this part is more about positioning those guidelines where they need to be. Let's say I wanted to draw this flying figure again on my own. Well, now that I've traced it, that will help me to do that. So what I'm going to do, and I, by the way, with the hands and feet, like I said, you could just trace those guys, okay? Uh, with the face, same deal. I'm just, I'm actually just going to draw in like my guidelines here of like where the face would be. And, and if they're looking up, that's another thing you might want to think about is that since this guy's looking up, his eye line is a little bit higher than halfway. Um, so yeah, depending on like if they're looking down, say, maybe their eye line will go down a little bit, kind of like this. The nose would be here, mouth would be here, and maybe their hair would do some more overlapping onto their face. The ears look higher because they're still lined up with the eye line, but it's just on like an arc. Um, Okay, so if you were going to use this guideline to draw a figure all on your own, you would sort of use, like, I, I actually like to trace over the drawings just like we've done there. Position the shoulders, like this shoulder's pretty close, this shoulder's a little farther. Surprisingly enough, this guy's shoulders are like perfectly level, even though he's like got this really weird pose going on. The hip is not very far off from this shoulder. The hip's kind of right there. And then we have this very strange uh, shape for his torso, which goes right through the middle of this one and all the way over like that, really stretched on the front of his torso. This arm is gonna cross across the body, going like this. This arm goes straight out. Um, so you can see how I'm kind of positioning all these lines. Make sure that your legs are long enough too. A lot of people make the legs too tiny. Um, there's his foot, here's gonna be, let's see, this knee is a little bit in front of this knee. It's gonna end up like right here. Drawing those muscles. The calf is going to look a little bit stronger there, a little straighter on this side because we're seeing some of the shin, which is like obviously the front and part of the calf. Okay, let's see that goes in here. We see this oval. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, by the way, this worksheet is like the one I want you all to draw all of the figures. Hello. There we go. Uh, there's another worksheet, which is like for those of you who finished this worksheet early or like are pretty advanced with drawing the human figure, well, what you guys are going to do is you're going to do this one. So this one, as you can see, the poses are much, much more complicated. Um, but don't be afraid. You know, just kind of keep in mind what you know. Like even if you're drawing this figure here, an oval for the head, shoulder line, center line, draw in your hip joint, draw in your shoulder joints, and then draw in that chicken. Well, I don't know. It really changes shape. The torso does from body to body. Um, you're going to draw in your straight lines for your legs, your knee joint, ankle joint, okay? Same way as we've done it, draw in the muscles. Even though these some of these are wearing clothes, you should still be able to see where the muscles are. And the more of these you do, the more comfortable you're going to be with drawing these. This guy's hand, by the way, is going to look pretty large because it's kind of coming out towards you like that. Um, there's a lot of these foreshortened kind of poses. Um, like this guy's hand up, up here is looking really large because it's kind of extending out towards us. Um, you're going to have some crazy overlap happening where one foot goes behind the body. Uh, some of their torsos are really going to change shape. Uh, this guy's hips are like overlapped by a lot of things going on. Here's his torso, his center line really curving. Um, this guy here, his whole torso is kind of foreshortened. So here's his head overlapping his shoulder line. His shoulders go right through the head. His hips are really close to that shoulder line, and his center line would just go up like this kind of on a curve. This one, you probably definitely want to be looking at an image you know, to try and get that detail right as far as like the back muscles um, and how those things are looking, how this arm is overlapping, how this back uh, calf looks so short because it's going off into the distance. It's very foreshortened. This foot and these hands are really nicely drawn. Um, the artist that did these sketches had a very sound understanding of like drawing the human figure, obviously, because they could draw all these different poses. But on this page, I just want you to try to trace maybe poses you might be interested in using. Uh, so just kind of pick and choose your favorites. 
And that's pretty much it. Good luck, guys.